a final played at sale. The North Gippsland League decided six weeks ago to stage its grand final at sale. However, it will now be forced to look elsewhere for its premier playoff. The decision has outraged the North Gippsland League, who will now call an emergency meeting early next week to try and find a suitable replacement venue. The North Gippsland League claims the LVFL has acted in an arrogant manner and is doing a major disservice to country football in Gippsland. Well, I think it's a case of the LVFL living in a glass house on top of an ivory tower just waiting for people to come along and throw stones at them. I mean, it's, it's an absolutely disgraceful decision and we just can't understand why they made it without consulting with us. And... The doubling up of venues could have been avoided, according to Gorry, and it's simply a case of the LVFL once again wielding its power over the minor leagues. Well, I think there's a certain amount of arrogance in the decision and I think the football public are the losers in this as well, Steve, because the, L the LVFL should really have considered holding their first semi-final at Sale and I understand the Mafra Club would have no objections to playing a first semi-final against Sale at the Sale Oval and I believe if they had that they'd have a huge crowd and so why go along and have their preliminary final at Sale on the day we're holding a grand final with the football public being the loser? If Sale, placed third on the LVFL ladder, make the preliminary final, the match will be played at Morwell. However, if it doesn't, the NGFL will have to look elsewhere. And we'll probably be looking at the Hayfield ground, which is in excellent condition at the moment. And I suppose Glengarry and Terrelgan would also come under consideration. But the chances of a final being played on the Terrelgan ground are extremely remote. Over the past few years, around $200,000 has been spent on the ground. However, its surface continues to deteriorate. And with the LVFL failing to award Terrelgan with a final this season, Maroon officials must be wondering where to look next. Meanwhile, the lead-up to the final series continues, and while fourth position on the ladder is yet to be confirmed, it's widely tipped that Mafra will dislodge Warrigal from the finals come five o'clock tomorrow. Daryl Cunningham shares that view and says the Eagles are quietly confident of snatching a place in the finals. Yeah, well, we're going into this game uh, pretty confident. We've got uh, one of the best teams for the year in. Uh, our last encounter at Bensdale, I thought, uh, we were very unlucky not to win, kicking 113 in the second uh, half. Plus, uh, you know, our ground's looking well, it's, it's uh, hard, and uh, all the boys are fit. If Mafra is to win a place in the finals, it must have a convincing win over the Red Legs and hope Terrelgan either defeats Warrigal or runs them close to the wire, as the Eagles are only 1.3% behind on the ladder. Selections for tomorrow, the final home and away round of the season, and Mafra should account for Bairnsdale, Terrelgan may grab the points from Warrigal, Moey will defeat Churchill, and Lee Gather should take the points from Sale. Morwell has the bye. Steve Linnell, Southern Cross Network News.